your pimples, you guys. Oh no, oh no, oh no, Washington State. Okay, good. Thank you, Keith. I'm glad your face is clean. <laughs> I can't help it. Okay, so is there anything in particular you guys want me to read on? I just wanted to chit chat talk. Um, anything specifically? Check in on independent. Like specifically, so just check in on them. Anything specific, Lourdes? Here. Okay, T Tara, show me, show me, um, show me independence. Independent. Do you mean independence? Just all independence in general, right? Let's look at independence. And then Jared, you guys want. Okay. Check in with it. So, independents, independent voters. How are you doing today? What's what's the general vibe from you guys? With wait, what needs to be reversed? Let's reverse this one. Independents, what's the general vibe today from whoops, America voters? What's your general vibe today from from last night's primaries? Ooh, ooh, queen of wands. Not, um, not feeling so queen of wands-ish. Um, it's interesting that this is a female leader. Maybe anger at Pelosi. Ooh. Okay. Um, Anger with pissed off at the dynasty, not happy with that, or maybe this is an establishment. That establishment word. Um, this is retreating. In the past, you guys have retreated, leading to really trying to cling and hang on to everything, You're really trying to work a movement to consolidate some power and grow. and feeling left out. It's at the basis of this. Something, feeling like something was stolen. The challenge with trying to consolidate power is trying to manipulate it, making some magic happen. And Page of Swords, um, angry words, just slicing, just angry, I don't want to say yelling, but just, you know what I mean. This nostalgia card, here we go again. Disappointment. Okay, um, I want to know, because I hear your pain, I hear what you guys say, I feel like we're exposed to different narratives of things, so I feel like I can't always grasp what that narrative is. I, I just, I don't understand it, and I think that goes to how we are just exposed to totally different dialogues as we are micro-targeted into different groups. For example, the corporate establishment I only see that word, those words used among a certain group of people. And then I know for myself and other people who are not part of that group, so friendly with that group, don't understand it. This is how you divide an electorate, okay? Because I know that I tend to see much more of the Bernie bro stuff, but this group here that talks more about establishment corporate it's like, I, I don't think they've really experienced the Bernie bro phenomenon. So you have two groups. We're one group, but somehow we've been divided, and the digital armies, however our minds are hacked or rigged, like in the great hack, they take the worst, most offensive thing to a group and a group and pin it on the other group, 
which makes us permanently divided and angry with one another. So establishment, I think you guys get more messaging about establishment corporate it gets pinned on this side. And we're like, huh, what are you talking about? And then you're just dis so disgusted by that. How could you? This is the antithesis to what we're doing here, right? Did I kind of get that? And then this group who is sick of the Bernie bros, it's like most offended by misogyny um, and inequality. How can you be like that? How could you embrace misogyny and a little bit of, you know, prejudice racism? How can you do that? And so this side is probably like, I don't know what you're talking about. We don't. See how that happens? And then you get the line drawn in the sand. So if we're going to talk about these two groups, Tarot, I want you to show me where is our common ground. I would really like to know where that common ground is. Okay? So show me this group that... Um, I'm just going to call them independents because that's where we started, okay? So independents, what's covering them? And then this group, Democrats, what's covering them? What's the unifier between these two groups? How does this side bridge to this side? How do independents bridge to Dems? How, to de how do Democrats bridge to independents? I still love my independents, you guys, and I love my Dems. Okay, so that's how they... What's the challenge? Let's do what's the challenge. What's the challenge? Okay, so at the base of this we have... A successful ending the end <laughs> we need to end th how we've gotten divided w what are the things that link to one another so independence you have you're having a tower moment today it's difficult uh, Knight of Cups last night was covered in a tower moment is usually my Donald Trump card but then Joe Biden drew this for the fifth house of the Sun which usually has to do with the office of the president of the United States that's just interesting side note Democrats why why are we <laughs> clouded and confused today because how did this happen is everyone like oh that's what it is how why did he surge today well I just told y'all MSNBC, CNN, watch my channel. Okay, so what's covering independence with this tower moment? Oh my gosh. Offers that they were made. This is exactly the reverse of the reading that I did. They're having a tower moment because offers and promises they were made is what's covering them. Democrats are like, how did that happen? We're covered in taking action, the Knight of Wands. So maybe independents, because now they're looking at each other. So maybe independents are making an emotional offer. Maybe Democrats are making an offer. What is going to unify these two groups? Our youth our common good our common dreams we are not so far away from one another you guys how do independents bridge over to Democrats through the government through the organization how do Democrats bridge to independence through heartbreak we have to get over this heartbreak. 
and this heartbreak goes back to 2016. Hillary Clinton, all the animosity that existed after she had the nomination, and it still bled over into the convention. And then, despite having three million more voters, there's still a lot of pain and there's still a lot of blame that this group helped get Donald elected. So this is a very raw pain and this is a thing that independents have a very hard time getting over, which kind of seems like a standstill. The challenge with independents, sort of truth, the assault, the challenge, <laughs> the challenge for Democrats I, is this face. This is Facebook, the messaging that you're going to get from Facebook. These are the things that are going to keep us dug into either side. And it's just going to take the youth and our inner self, our higher selves, to come to that. And hopefully over time we will get there. Because, yay, Lilith passed Chiron, so maybe that's going to help too. Okay. There we go. Keith. Oh, I overdid it. My back is killing me and my stump of a right. Okay. You take care of it. We're hitting eclipse click points. Mars today is conjunct 11 degrees Capricorn, which was uh, the new moon eclipse 2019. And in Capricorn, that rules the bone, all your bones, your joints, your knee. And, um, yeah, your bones. Yep, GOP is trying very hard to divide the Dems. And the thing is, the GOP has this playbook. They have all of our information. By the way, someone asked earlier, could you find out if Tulsi Gabbard, Gulsi Tabbard, um, is the back channel for, you know, Democrats' data? Yes, she absolutely is. My la I don't know, was my last live or the one before that, but it was in March. At the very end, the last five, ten minutes, someone asked, we finally got to that, and the, the answer, yeah, was very revealing. Yes. Really?